So here we are on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful summer day. And once again, I'm out with my partner in crime, the new Savage, Savage Gear Golden Boy, Mikkel Tholsen. <laughs> That was pretty. That was a pretty good introducing, right? Yeah, we are fishing Sander, guest right, and uh, looking all over the place. We have no wind at all. Just a very, very small breeze. Just started right now. We're bottom jigging with the slender scope sheds, with rubber baits, with the uh, yeah. We, we haven't ha haven't fished hard baits today, so yeah, we just bottom bouncing with the uh, with the with the small jigs and uh, there's fish in the boat and that's important so Mikkel what do you think about today uh, I think it's a bit quiet day today we have uh, no wind and we had a lot of sun so uh, I think the main thing we're going to do today is to stay in the area where we find some fish locating new fish and uh, and find out what technique that works you've been You've been fishing another technique than I have, and you have a lot of lot more contacts. So I think today we'll be finding the key and the the technique for how to catch them or make them uh, take the jig. Because we're we're definitely seeing fish on the sonar, so we know there's fish in the area, and they should just uh, they should take the the bait. We see a lot of bait fish. A lot of bait fish. And the sander seems to be schooling around the bait fish. Yeah. And there was a fish jumping in the background so so we just need to keep on staying in that area yeah i think we're gonna drift we're, we're yeah. not gonna we're not sharpshooting or anything we're no. just locating the fish and then we're gonna drift fish yeah. and then we take some passes and when they stop biting we will find another place but as long as they're biting we'll stay in the area stupid stupid stu leave, stu <laughs> stu fish. stupid to leave an area where they're biting and we have tree contact and there's tree fish in the boat so okay. Let's keep it rolling. We're into a fish here on the slender scoop. We downscale from the 15 to the 13 centimeters and it seems to work better. I've been fishing the 15 centimeters for an hour, maybe two. No contact. Just switch for this one. Nick told me his technique and second cast, standard. Awesome. That's how it's done guys, it's not the big ones but uh, this lake is known for really small sanders and in between maybe a biggie. So, we've been fishing in eight hours now and uh, tried out new areas. <laughs> and yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, right now it feels like seeking a needle in a haystack. But uh, maybe we'll see fish on the sounder and we still believe it. This was my magic today, but I've been working around some big slender scopes some heavier lures but it seems to be strong colors that works today all the contacts and the fish we have in the boat is on strong colors so now we're just trying the wild card of this lake
So there the story was for today. The plan was sander. And right now we're one sander from 10 sanders in total. So that's that's the best result for today, I think. In these condition in 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 that in these this type of fishing. So the man behind me has fished like a machine today and uh, the man in front of you is also sour in the old arms now so I think we've been fishing for 10 or 11 hours I don't know exactly and we caught almost 10 we still have some light back and uh, I hope you enjoy this video there will be put more up for sure so we fight for the last sander of this day and then we're gonna hit the magic 10 10 uh, uh, 10 sander mark so thank you all for watching out there and i hope to catch you in the next one